Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Milia Risa And today I will talk about how to teach with online learning During this COVID-19 pandemic Online teaching is evolving as the most suitable means for teaching and learning So, we are going to discuss important things that related to this topic that will help teachers conduct effective online classes. Most of the educational institutions are closed in Indonesia and other countries. Because of COVID-19 lockdown, teachers are instructed by their organizations to conduct online classes. Now, I will try to explore an answer to the following questions related to this topic. The first, to the first question is, why do we need to conduct online classes? Of course, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But during this lockdown, a portion of the syllabus could be completed by conducting online classes. This will help teachers to cover the syllabus after the educational institutions reopen. Consequently, conducting exams on time will help maintain the flow of study for students. In addition, students will be in judge in studies during this lockdown. The second question is, what do we mean by online classes? By online classes, we mean conducting teaching and learning sessions with the help of ICT. The internet is an important player. Nowadays, we have a lot of open source LMS solutions like Moodle, Edmodo, Google Classroom, Chamila, and Canvas. You can inform your students through email or WhatsApp about the time or the topic for online classes. You can also stream your video tutorial live on YouTube. After a tutorial, you can answer students' questions by using a group chat on WhatsApp. Follow this by sharing a related assignments on Google Classroom. The third question is, what are the basic do's and don'ts in conducting online classes? The first we talk about do's. First is, Collect email addresses and contact numbers of all the students and create a group chat of students in LMS through which you want to conduct online classes. Prepare your class before the actual online class. It is best to rehearse offline before your class. Make sure to check all the necessary equipment before you starting the online classes like internet, laptop, and your camera. Be ready with the assignments that you want to share after your online class like a list of questions related to the topic. You may also ask one or two students to be volunteers and help you pass important information about the online session to other students in the group if required. It will reduce your workload. You will not have to inform each and every student. You can give your students all the instructions required so that your online class runs smoothly. During the online sessions, 
give proper breaks so that the students will have time to think about the topic and frame their questions as doubts. It is better to keep your class short or as a series of short sessions. This depends on various parameters like the topic, the participation, the participation of students, and the teaching plan. You may ask a few open-ended questions related to the topic during the online sessions to make students more responsive. Encourage students not only to ask their queries or doubts related to the topic, but also answer the questions asked by their peers. You may set up an online discussion forum for this. Post the assignments just after your session and announce the details in your session. And the last thing that you can do for your online classes is take feedback from your students. It will help you learn their point of view about your online classes. And now I will tell you some things that you shouldn't do in online class. The first is don't be too formal, especially if you're familiar with the students. And then don't postpone or cancel a class without any strong reason. So the next question is how do you give tests online? So you are doing online learning now, but how about the test? I guess there are such things as online exams. I know that some content management systems have a testing mode so that the students can use other websites. Of course, if the students want to cheat, they can just use the other handphones or they can just use the other computer. Maybe the solution is to give a better test. What if you ask a questions that can be solved with an internet search? You could ask the students to come up with their own question, or you could give a solution with a mistake in it and ask them to find a mistake and fix it. The last question is, what the advantages of teaching online. The first is you can teach and earn money from the comfort of your home or whenever and anytime you like. The second is the ability to add teaching experience to your resume before or after you teach English abroad. The third is efficiency. Neither the teacher or the students needs to commute to the classroom, therefore saving time and money. The fourth is less distraction. When teaching online, there are fewer students and fewer distractions that might detract from the lesson. The fifth is cheaper. An online English class is often cheaper than a traditional class in a language school. Although online learning offers ease, the flexibility and ability to access the class remotely during its advanced time, participants may feel isolated. This is because online learning is a do-it-yourself action, which may give them the feeling that they are acting entirely on their own. Health-related online learning requires the use of computers and other such tools, which means that aphetic, bad posture, and other physical problems can affect the learning process. When you run an online class, you might want to send out a guide on correct posture, workbench height, and a recommendation for regular rest. That's all from me. I hope it's useful and I'm sorry for the mistake.
Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.